What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now today, we have something super exciting for me anyways, personally. And this is something that I've been wanting to get since before I even owned this car. Now this is something that I loved on cars since I was a kid. Before I even got into cars, I just thought it always was like dope, it was cool. And now I'm gonna have one of my own, and here it is. Oh yeah, Gary, go stand next to it. My brother is like 6'2", and the box is taller than him. Yeah, so let's open this baby up. Uh, we are gonna assemble it up here on the carpeted floor before we take it outside into the garage or in the concrete or any uh, pavement, any of that stuff. We don't risk scratching it up. So we're gonna we're gonna put it together here, and then we're gonna use that to measure um, exactly where we need to drill everything and to make sure that it's absolutely perfect. Because I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to building cars or just doing anything, I need to do things absolutely perfect or as close to as I, I personally possibly can. Now, let's open this bad boy up. Routing number? Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Big Wang Gang, wow, this thing is surprisingly light, like very, very light. But then again, this like full carbon fiber, so, oh, oh my God. Dude, this is like the third video in a row, almost off. Let's open these babies up. Oh, wow, Gary, come look at this carbon fiber. Even the, even the plates are made of carbon fiber. Oh, you can't really see the lighting, it's kind of bad in here. But when we get outside, I will show you. That's my cat. His name is Theo. Hi. Wait, can you give me the exact one? Come here. Let's say hi. <laughs> is this Theo? Ah! He's about a year and a half old. I got him last year. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no. These are the wing, wing foils. Yeah. Even these are carbon fiber. Literally, the only thing that's not carbon fiber is these pieces right here at the stand. Oh, oh, the lighting is still pretty bad, but yeah, dude, this carbon fiber looks insane. Hey, they even have it labeled for you right here. RX-7, I wish I had an RX-7. But uh, RX-7 and it says left, so. Man, this is from the left side. Open it, get here in the Oh, big oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Isn't this the one you told me to get? Uh, this is bigger than the one I told you to get. I thought all of these dust specs were, were scratches or whatever, but it's just, it's just dust, thank God. I don't know if you guys can see, yeah. But wow, look how shiny that thing is. Look at all that carbon fiber, bro! All right guys, so my brother and I put the wing together. And now that we have the wing together, we are gonna take everything outside and we're gonna mark it up. And then we'll start drilling. And I think, I guess that's it. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so right now we're gonna put the wing to use to make sure that we can measure everything out and that everything fits good before we decide to actually drill holes in. So, um, it doesn't fit exactly on the trunk. Like this side is just completely off. So I think what we did is we tightened these at a wrong angle, but we didn't really angle it correctly before. Oh wait, no, isn't this, I think this is supposed to go on the outside, right? No, that would that wouldn't make that wouldn't make any sense. Would it? No. Okay. Oh, so I'm gonna loosen these up and then we'll try to re-angle and retighten it again and then we'll see. Okay, guys, we literally just everything. Okay, bye. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I I loosened these uh, these bolts right here so that we could wiggle it around and then uh, now that we have all of this fitment right here, this is pretty much exactly where I want it to be. But yeah, so now um, I'm just gonna take something to measure this space so it's even on this side. But like basically right here on this side, it's ex like exactly the same. So I don't really wanna risk moving it right now. But this right here, yeah, right here I'm gonna measure the space in between because this side looks a little bit bigger. And then uh, I'll retain everything and then we'll mark everything up. We'll start the drill. Oh, what? The masking tape's in the trunk. Is it really? 
Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Don't worry, I have to take. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good. So I don't really know how I should tape this. We should have taped this first before we put this on here. Wolf was gonna be like, <gasps> big wing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we taped all around it so we maintain the shape and the location of where it is. And now uh, we're just gonna take the thing, uh, take it off and just put it back on the cardboard so that we can uh, lay one piece of tape and another like one right here where the holes are so we know where to drill and stuff. What's up, buddy? Uh, we're just gonna put the wing back onto it. Oh crap, I almost fell, Jesus Christ. Uh, we're gonna put the wing back on the car one last time. Uh, just to make sure it's exactly where we want it, you know, because this is drilling, this is big. You, you drill, you can't go back. So, yeah. Um, center punch. Okay, first one. I'm so nervous. Go. Ah! Number two. I can't really see him. We made the rivets. Now it's time to start drilling. Okay. All right, here comes the scary part. Let's go like this. I can hold it down. I'm scared, dude. We oh. made it through the first the hole. Point of no return. Okay, now we have better lighting. We got the ring light out. All right, guys. So this hurts my soul, but we have all the holes drilled. And um, because this is just straight up metal, we're gonna use some uh, touch-up paint, Subaru Crystal White Pearl. And uh, we're just gonna touch up the metal parts and then to make sure it doesn't rust and stuff. Funny story, I actually spilled most of this stuff on the driveway because I almost tripped and fell one time. I tend to do that a lot here, I don't know why. We put touch up paint here and here and all the, the drill holes to try to prevent um, any uh, rust from happening or try to decrease the risk of rust. But yeah, so now uh, we're just gonna wipe everything down real quick because uh, we'll never be able to clean it again. But yeah, we're gonna wipe it down real quick and then we're just gonna put the wing on the car and we're done, that's it. Yes, sounds simple, but it's not. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's just on his mom's car. That's different though. Yeah, on I know. the sports car. He probably does know since he watched, he probably watched the video on how to do it. Cause I did. Oh, hell Hydra. This is uh kind of like a I don't know, like a cup thing that we slide onto the big hole right here. And then we got our screw that goes on top of that. So, pop this in there. All right guys, so we made a very important discovery. We can actually just screw all of these on without even having to touch the trunk first because the nuts that lock it onto the trunk, we can just slide this in. So <laughs> we were <laughs> straining on the trunk for no reason. Alright guys, so my brother is tightening in the last nut to secure this to the trunk and uh, then we can put the big wing on here and we are done. If you guys are going to get this wing or install a wing, I suggest take your time. There's no rush to these kind of things, especially if you're drilling into your car. Uh, you get, like if you mess up and you make the hole too big, like that's it, it's over. Like the nut's not going to fit or anything. Oh, it's done. But yeah, I suggest you just take your time. like and. It, it's more beneficial being slow than it is being can we, can like can we close slow. It? I'm being fast. Sorry. Let's close it. Yes, bro. Oh. Devil horns right here. All right, now I have time to put this bad boy on, and we're done. 
Let's just try to... All right, everybody, we finished putting the wing on. Uh, we angled it like really aggressively, so the downforce is going to be crazy. And my brother and I agreed that it looks the best this way. But uh, since it's dark out now, you know, because it's like New England, we get dark at like five now. Okay, that's exaggeration, but it will soon. I kind of want to angle it up just a little bit more, but uh, I'm not sure to be honest. It does look a little too far down, but I'll just leave it for now like this, and then we'll decide later. But I, we have, there's a bunch of dust and fingerprints on the carbon fiber, and I don't want it to get baked into the clear coat in the sun. So my brother and I just gonna spray the spray it down and just we're gonna kind of wipe it and uh, use maybe like I don't even know some kind of cleaner on it. But yeah, I'll give you guys an update tomorrow in the sun. All right, guys. So uh, today's Sunday. We installed the wing on Friday. And uh, I, just, I didn't have enough time to film anything yesterday. And when I got off work, it was basically dark already. So I figured I'd just wait till the next day. And here it is. On the car, everybody. If it would freaking focus. Here's how everything looks together. Oh. Wow, it looks so good. It looks amazing. And even if you stand from here, you can still see it from the top and the side. Give you guys a closer look at the carbon fiber. It's extremely high quality. The camera just doesn't give it justice. But you can see, you can see my reflection. So you can tell that it's very, very high quality. Everything here, even this metal piece right here, the stand, Super sturdy. This thing is not going anywhere. I'm sh shaking it pretty hard right now. It's not even moving. And even the plates right here are carbon fiber. It's Am I happy with this purchase? Absolutely. I've been wanting a big wing on, on my car since before I even got this car. And I love big wings since I was a kid. And to be honest, I can't believe this is like my car because I don't know. It's just it's so crazy to me. Just seeing it in person looks way cooler, you know? I've never owned anything like made of real carbon fiber before, so this is pretty awesome for me. But yeah, my car is filthy. I want to get it cleaned up real quick, just like a little like rinse wash. And then uh, I want to bring it to like a parking lot for like a little shoot. Uh, because I've never done a shoot with this car before. The diffuser looks so good with the wing. Everything is so aggressive. It's the hot boy look, okay? And I know a lot of people like the OEM, OEM look, and I think that's great. Um, everybody has their own taste. Uh, but I personally, from the beginning, since I got this car, I wanted to make it look at, as aggressive as I possibly could without a wide body. And I think I'm getting, pr I'm pretty close to that, <laughs> in my opinion. I could get a few more things, but like I said, I'll have you in the future. So later this week, I'm actually getting my windows tinted um, for my friend at work. He also works part-time at a wrap shop. And he said he could hook me up with uh, some tints on the low. And uh, this, he, the tint shop he works at is actually a very high quality tint shop. So I'm very super excited for that to finally get some tints on these windows. Yeah, so I can't, I can't believe that, <laughs> like, what I envisioned this car to be when I first bought it last year, it actually came true. And it's sitting to, like, how like I pretty much imagined it when I first bought it. So from inside the car, you can see it right there. This is the rear view mirror, and you can see the two stands and a little bit of wing. But if you're like this, that this is the height that I sit at, uh, you can see perfectly good. But what's awesome is that you can also see it in your side mirrors. And that I think that's dope. That's awesome. It gives you like a little view of it. Also, if you guys are wondering if Excuse me. If uh, the wing gets in the way of opening the trunk at all, let me show you. Because it gets in the way. Absolutely not. I'm just kidding. Because it do it doesn't. It perfectly good clearance. You can throw it up. It's not going to hit the back windshield or anything. The clearance is good. That is good. I know that's a big question for everybody. 
walking into the car. Oh, it's actually, uh, the wing is really light, but on the trunk it adds weight to it. So I don't let it slam anymore. I kind of just hold it like this and just drop it and it closes. Know what I'm saying? Eh, eh, eh. Good. Thank you guys so much for watching the video uh, make sure you subscribe uh, to keep following the build and um, just my life in general let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see done to the car um, this year I really just focused on aesthetics on the outside I didn't really do too much on the inside or engine or, or actually I didn't do anything to the engine and uh, I only changed the shift knob in here and added some decals that's that's it thank you guys again for watching I'll see you in the next one peace out